company that designed this rifle mm. was effectively three guys in a shed. <laughs> And they were like, why don't we submit this rifle that we built to the British military rifle trials for a new sniper <laughs> rifle? So they did it. They didn't expect to win. It won handily. And they were like, oh, crap. Now we got to build a bunch of these things. <laughs> so when the British military sent some requisitions lieutenants out to their shop. <laughs> to his garage. They rented a large shop and then took their entire inventory of rifles they had produced up until that point. And there's only three people that worked for this company at the time. <laughs> so... When the requisitions officers showed up, they were like, well, where is everybody? Oh, they're out to lunch. It'll be fine. Um, <laughs> Why are we in a two-stall garage? The rest of the house is out for lunch, too. It'll be back in a moment. Well, no, they had rented out for a day an actual workshop. <laughs> put it, Had all these workbenches in it. Put all the rifles on it in different states. So they showed up, and the requisitions officers were happy. They're like, hey, this looks like a really good operation you guys got going here. Let's go out to lunch. So they went out and got lunch. And then while they were out at lunch, the requisitions officers were like, yeah, this was really more of a formality. We just wanted to make sure you weren't three guys in a shed. And they're just like, oh, my God, we're in so much trouble. Anyway, it ended up getting adopted, and it's a really, really good rifle. Have you fired one of